Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I just got back from seeing A Haunting in Venice and I wanted to give you guys my quick thoughts on it. This review will not contain any spoilers, so don't worry if you haven't seen the movie, you're still free to watch this review. And let me know what you guys thought about this movie down below. The past movies that have been sort of this like Agatha Christie universe, I've mostly enjoyed. I, I liked Murder on the Orient Express Train. Death on the Nile I thought was okay. I didn't think it was as good as Murder on the Orient Express Train. And this one, I I didn't really like it that much, which is really disappointing because I was very excited about it. I was really intrigued by it because so far in these movie adaptations, it hasn't had anything to do with the supernatural, so the fact that this one also had something to do with the supernatural as seen by the trailers was interesting to me because I was like, I wonder what it's gonna lean into, more like supernatural and stuff or more realistic. And to be honest, I was still a little bit confused into what the movie was trying to be because I couldn't really tell if by the end of it it was something supernatural or if it was all realistic because they do have plot twists within the movie where it sort of like reshapes it and it makes you think, oh, is it one way or the other? And I think it was a little bit confusing by the end of it. And with that being said, I wish overall we would have gotten more paranormal stuff in this movie like I thought we were going to have because the seance only really happens like when one scene. I wish that would have been a little bit more of the plot because I thought that was cool and it was interesting, but then it doesn't really happen for the rest of the movie. Also, something else that I don't really love about this movie was the ensemble cast. Everybody acted fine, like I don't think there's a particular performance where I didn't really like them or I really loved them, like I think it was just all fine. But what I really like about murder mysteries usually is how the actors and the characters interact with each other and their chemistry with one another. And I feel like in this movie that was really lacking because there's nothing really memorable about any of their performances or any of the interactions they had with other characters. It was in a way very forgettable the way they were all brought into the story. The problem with that in my opinion was that it sort of is less engaging for the audience because I wasn't as intrigued into finding out who was the murderer or who was at fault because I sort of was forgetting what these characters did. They just really weren't together a lot of the times like yes everybody stuck in one place but at the same time it felt very distant to one another and it sort of felt in that sort of repetitive where they get questioned and then the other person gets questioned and this and that which is very typical in these type of movies but for some reason I really can't remember them fully interacting with each other enough for me to have enjoyed it. But I will say I did really like the location of this movie. I think it was really cool and I liked the moody vibe that it brought. It definitely brought the spooky vibes as well. It was just a different atmosphere than the other movies that you've gotten so I enjoyed it for that. And it was stylistically different than the other ones. Now, I don't think it was my favorite choice cinematography-wise. Sometimes I wasn't a big fan of the angles. There's a lot of like wide angled and a lot of the times there's a lot of space surrounding the characters, which was fine, but for the most part, I just kept thinking of like the 0.5 angle on an iPhone, if you know what I mean. And every time like it would do that wide angle, I just kept thinking of that. And I'm, a, I'm fine with a wide angle, but I just, I don't know, it felt a little bit jarring to me because then it would cut to like a close-up. I wasn't the biggest fan of the stylistic choices. Also, there's a scene in this movie where the camera is in front of a character, so it's sort of like in their point of view, if that makes sense, but it's like extremely close to them and it's like really shaky and I'm not a typically big fan of those type of camera movements because it just took me out of it. It made me feel like I was in like a video game or something, especially with this type of story. But the mystery. I thought the mystery was interesting. I was really into it in the first half of the movie. I felt like the timing of things in this movie were not the best. Like sometimes there were things being revealed and it sort of felt very anticlimactic and I don't know if it was the way the movie was paced or the writing but a lot of the times like they were saying things and I'm like wait something's being revealed right now where I felt like that shouldn't have been the moment there was a portion in this movie where I honestly almost fell asleep in the movie theater and I just think it was because a lot of dialogue was being given but it didn't feel important I didn't really like it which I'm a little disappointed by because for the most part I have enjoyed the other ones to some extent murder on the Orient Express is still my favorite I think even though I haven't rewatched it in a while but yeah, this movie was not that good in my opinion, which sucks because I was actually looking forward to it. Also, out of all of the mysteries, I feel like this one was probably the easiest to solve. Thank you all so much for listening to my thoughts on A Haunting in Venice. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. And if you haven't yet, let me know what you guys thought about this movie down below. And I'll see you all in my next horror movie review. Bye, everyone.